want your breakfast? All right, guys, so this is what's been going on. I've been going through a bit of a rough patch lately, feeling less than inspired. So Lenny and I are gonna take a road trip about 90 miles north of Los Angeles to Ojai, and we're gonna live in a van until a further notice. There's Lennon in the back in her little car seat. But I really feel like I need to confront a lot of things that I'm uncomfortable with. Just need to sort of be with myself and my own thoughts and hopefully get some new inspiration for content. Big shout out to Caravan Outpost, by the way, for letting us stay in one of their caravans. I'm so excited to check them out and see what they're all about. I'm gonna link them in the description below. I hope you enjoy your stay. Thank you. I definitely will be riding a bike tomorrow. fridge too which is really cool so I can store all of Lennon's veggies here and any food that I buy I feel like Justin Bieber like hey guys welcome to my tour bus Hello, I'm Justin Bieber come check out my tour bus so I'm sticking Lennon's litter box right in this little nook here it's just like the perfect place for it I like that there's this little area rug for her to hop on out to Lennon's been such a trooper like the road trip didn't even phase her honestly I set out some water for her. She's been munching on hay. You want your treat, honey? Treat? Oh, yes, you know the word treat. Yes, you do right here, puppy. Here. So Ojai is known for their olive oil, and this is locally sourced. You made a lot of noise last night, Lennon. That was not nice. Yeah, Lenny and I are just enjoying the peaceful nature, the tranquility around us, and um, taking it easy, getting out of the city, all of the chaos. She's been great. She's been so adaptable and patient and hasn't really bad an eyelash over this trip. She's, she's been very good. Also, she's very protected with me. I don't let her run free outside or anything like that. She's, she's contained and I'm, holding on to her quite tightly, so. And Miss Lennon is right here in a backpack. a good brushing. Okay, let's rotate you, let's rotate you. Uh, rotate, rotate. Gotta get your foot. I love you. Okay, so they have this old record player here. I'm kind of excited to try it. And then they have these like old vinyl records. <clears throat> like this one's Frank Sinatra. What else do they have?
Lennon, do you want your breakfast? Lennon, she's been sleeping under this bed like <laughs> the past couple nights. It's so cute. Hi, puppy. Come on, it's time to get up now. So I had a really wild night last night. Um, maybe one day I'll be able to tell you guys everything. But I had a lot of um, realizations specific to this trip and this journey. I think there's this sort of underlying theme and I've been really starting to see things for what they are, really objectively, and um, take accountability for my own actions but not take accountability for other people's actions. I think that's really important for me to remember. And to tie this back to Lennon, because this is really, really crucial, it, it really dawned on me last night. Lennon represents many things for me but above all, represents forgiveness. And I think the reason I was so drawn to her and I've been so drawn to her all these years, the reason she landed in my life, she was meant to teach me something. And I could never quite figure out what it was. Lennon is so forgiving. She, she just forgives me for all the stupid that I do and have ever done. And it's something that I myself have been unable to encompass all these years. I've been unable to forgive a lot of people who have hurt me. I need to be her. I need to learn to be her. I have to have compassion for, for all of those people, but most importantly for myself and forgive myself, the most important person of all. So I would say that this little trip has been very productive. Do you want to be in the video for a second? No, not <laughs> today. Okay. <laughs> That's why you have I think you for all the work that you're doing with your dog. Thank you. It's a lot to get here, you know? Yeah. Just creating beautiful content. Thank you so you're much. Welcome. It was so great meeting yeah, you. We're, we'll always be in touch. You have a number. Stay in the hammock for me, though. Oh, I will. <laughs> Are you that was one of the van neighbors. Let's go for a bike ride. Mm -hmm.